Hold on to your calculators gamers, enthusiasts are using mathematics to unravel the mysterious GT6 release date. Could the complex algorithms and numerical pattern hold the key to the gaming world's most anticipated launch? As the gaming community becomes a hub of the mathematical speculation, one question remains. Can numbers truly predict the release date of the next GTA masterpiece? Stay tuned as the equation unfolds, subscribe if you believe that GT6 will release early 2020. 25. Thank you and let's go. And we're starting off with the insane details. Handprints are found on the dirty cars in the first trailers. This means that players can interact with the trunk and we can already uh, confirm the previous two videos that we had. The first one was about the weapons and the vehicles and as well as the second one we will be looking for NPCs which we could actually put in a trunk if we are stealing them and kidnapping them. So all I'm saying it's pretty interesting which mechanic will be actually added because those are just two suggestions that we have so far. Maybe some people will go through some other possibilities that we can have with a trunk, but that's the moments most too common we have on right now. Random fact number 9373, as this door in NAT has exactly 864 holes in it. Just so you know, just a small interesting fact. Map versatility is the one thing that I don't think GTA 6 will top in Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, in as given it happens in one state. If the map will be expanded over time then I can 100% see it happen but I don't know man so many environments in one map would be really tricky. I don't think Rockstar will be going for a map versatility this time around as much as they will be going for interactivity details. I agree that level of map depths and details will probably be greater in GTA 6 however while it might be less versatile from a climate perspective Rockstar still has a lot of map versatilities that will be incorporated based on the real world South Florida, urban, suburban, grassland, everglades, flatlands and the likely inclusion of the island tropical region Cuba and, Cuba and whatever Guarma is named in the GTA universe. The next up we go for. So will paramedics still be comically incompetent in GTA 6? The police in GTA 5 aren't the most well-trained officers and the fire brigade often cause more damage than they prevent but they try their hardest and we are proud of them for that. The paramedics of GTA 5 on the other hand are comically incompetent as they are there for a paycheck and they aren't afraid to flaunt it. So in my 10 plus years walking to the streets, uh, walking the streets of Los Santos and beyond, I haven't witnessed them save a single soul. And in fact, they seem to take a morbid delight in arriving to the scene of accident and watching the victim die before driving off for a lunch. They've been getting away with this for years, with no one holding them to account for their gross negligence and no sign of that changing anytime soon. So my question is, do we think that the paramedics in GTA 6 will be better at their jobs than their GTA 5 colleagues? Will they actually save a virtual life? What do you think? Right there, right in the comments, would be really interesting to talk it out. Used car market. So would anyone else like a used car website with discounted cars, especially with a ridiculous and realistic cost of cars in GTA 5? And I hope it's more realistic in GTA 6 as I don't want to pay 2 million dollars for a car that would cost 100,000 in real life as it's crazy to only have the options of buying brand new cars in GTA when a website of the randomized cars daily is something that would only take one or two days to code. Why? You can steal them for free unless they make stealing cars way more complex especially with newer and modern cars. This vehicle is too hot to modify. Wasn't that just an online thing forcing you to buy cars? Yeah it was and I'm mainly talking about online with my past but I don't know work for both story and the online game. I can see it being an SP thing since it would be pretty easy to implement as though kinda pointless since the you can steal all those cars is called the GTA for a reason. But I would never be do something like that for the GTA online as they want people to buy shark cards after all. 
But ironically enough, they will make it more complex to steal cars and it was seen in the leaks as remember, GTA CTW. Well, that game had a special tool to steal cars, some sort of hacker sync where you, ha where you had to choose the right number combination to start a car, as this was used on high-end vehicles. Same thing was seen in the leaks for GTA 6 and it wasn't seen in action but it was seen on the item list. So you also had a look lockpicks or something to break into lower and wickles. Next up we go for it. using mathematics to predict the date in which DG6 will release fit Microsoft Paint. So what are we looking at? We E V, which we have over here, so we E V, and uh, there we could see the mathematics behind it. So Lucy and Jason car is stationary, uh, we zero, and uh, uh, we could have uh, the others. So I, I I'm not best at the math, so especially in uh, not my native language. So I'm just showing you the screenshot where you can see everything right here. And from the relation one and two, GG6 release on the 6th February of 2025. And we could see that velocity uh, ETA and estimated time of arrival. Estimated time of arrival means a release date and F is the February that we have over there. I don't know what other numbers mean, but that's basically what we have over here. So this is just some small maps I mean, small mass that we could solve and maybe it will be released on the 6th February of 2025. Maybe it's not. Yeah, let him cook, let him cook, but still we can't confirm that is actually true. It's just, it's just what we have. This is who Leonida is named after, Juan Ponque de Leon, as a, a Spanish explorer and conquistador known for leading the first official European expedition to Puerto Rico and Florida in uh, 1508 and 1513 uh, respectively. Yes, yes, that's the exact guy by the way, so if you know, you know. I think I can now confidently acknowledge that my best guess on who's portraying Jason is Dominic Purcell, who has had a long history with the crime drama Prison Break and other crime adjacent films, some even with the Vice City's very own Tommy Versetti and Ray Reliotto. Below are actually both pictures and audio clips that may add a uh, legitimacy to what I'm saying, until trailer 2 supposedly focuses more on Jason and we will see how accurate this casting is. I don't know about about the actual like uh, the second trailer about Jason I feel like the first one was not about the Lucia but we will see how it actually is playing out Dom just like Jason are both 6'1 sharing features such as blue eyes similar wrinkles uh, cross feet for example brown hair uh, similar hairline and thick eyebrows while also sounding like both the 2022 dinner robbery leak a bit but definitely for trailer one and I want to do this first few days of the subreddit hidden one mil so by looking for some materials to truly make this was surprisingly difficult as most of Dom's movies are hard to find and basically from all those uh, screenshots you could see how person tried to compare him to the game. I love Dom in the Arrowverse, especially when he was given more to do than just be a paramoniac with a hit gun in Legends of Tomorrow, so him being Jason in 6 would be dope, but I don't think he is. He has been in other stuff recently, including the Legends show as recently as 2021. Didn't Roger Clark say that he was working on Red Dead Redemption 2 for years? I don't see how Dom could do the Legends shows and a couple of movies he, is, he, has, he has done recently along with a GT6 at the same time. So that's kind of all the information we got on today's video and if you are interested in more don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you in the next one and peace.